short 20-30 minute yoga lattes session so we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, yoga with a little bit of pilates so working on our strength but also on our core and our posture so we're going to start seated uh, at the beginning just for a little bit of breathing you can either sit like me resting onto your knees or if it's a little bit more comfortable you can sit cross-legged and um, either one is fine but wherever you are i would like you to sit up nice and tall drop the shoulders down the back rest the hands onto the knees or the lap and then we are going to close the eyes and as we have the eyes close here just be to begin to take nice slow Deep inhales and long, slow, deep exhales. And as you breathe, just bringing your attention and your awareness to your body and your mind. And just trying to let them all switch off from the outside world, all the cluster, all the noise, everything that we've been doing today and everything we're going to do later. And just bring our attention to this very present moment. Focusing on the mind and the body. As you breathe, just ensuring that the body isn't slouching, make sure that the spine stays tall. And as you breathe, allow the face to soften. So the posture stays erect, but the face is soft and calm. And taking a final big deep inhale here and letting it out and slowly bringing the head forward and we're just going to come into a child's pose so if you've got if you're sitting cross-legged then just come onto your knees and dropping the head down arms away and relax Taking a final breath here. Up onto the knees, taking the arms away. Chin or the forehead comes down as we drop into our puppy pose. So if you want to make it a little bit more active, walk the fingertips away. So you really stretch through the shoulders and the back. Then rising back up onto our knees here, shoulders over the wrists. Just start to wiggle the spine side to side, looking around to the ankles. And then we're going to make a little bit more cat-cow here. So up and down and side to side. And then bringing it back into centre, squeezing the core in towards the spine, leaning the body over the wrists here. Then round the upper back so that you're not slouching down into the shoulder blades. Holding it here for three, two, one, back to centre. Turn the hands around, so right hand goes clockwise, left hand anti-clockwise and just start to lean back a little bit so that the forearms are getting a stretch. And we're going to flip the back of the hand, the hand sorry, the other way, so back of the hand comes down now. Making a little fist with the hands and then bringing it back down flat, tucking our toes. We're going to push back into a little crouch here, Bring the chest towards the thighs and slowly start to extend the bum up to the sky into a downward dog. Fingers are spread wide. Engage through the thighs here as well. So squeeze the thighs back, heels are down to the ground. Keep pushing your head towards the legs or to the thighs, sorry. You can take little bends here in the knees if you want. You can take a uh, twist on one side and the other. And then bring it back to centre here, looking towards the fingertips, 
stepping the feet behind the hand, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, dropping the head, we're just going to stay here for a little bit longer, shake the head, yes and no, left and right, and then we'll do a couple of swings around to the left, oh, we rolled, so around to the right, and back to centre, bringing the head up, looking towards the top of the mat, Extend the spine, I want you to lift the shoulder blades back, so squeeze the shoulder blades back, engage through the core, and forward fold, drop the head down. We're going to take an inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, exhale them down to centre, and again, inhale up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway, Exhale, hands down, stepping back to your high plank. We're going to drop the knees, bend the elbows all the way down to the ground, pushing up to our cobra here, and then push back to downward, uh, downward dog to child pose, sorry. Taking three breaths here. Last breath. Rising up onto the knees, tucking the toes, push back to your downward facing dog. Just checking that you've engaged through the upper legs here, squeezing them back. Fingers are spread wide, looking towards the hands, step the feet behind the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, the arms up to the sky. Exhale, down to centre. And again, inhaling up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands down, step back to your high plank. This time we're going to go from a high plank down to a low plank. So engage through the core, squeeze the bum, squeeze the thighs, bend the elbows back. Hold it in your halfway plank. Push back up, good, to downward facing dog. We're going to ripple back over to our high plank here. We're going to, you can either drop the knees or do the same thing again. We're going to bend to a halfway plank. Roll onto the toes, push up to our upward facing dog. Taking a moment here in your upward facing dog to make sure the shoulders are back, thighs are engaged, tops of the feet are pushing into the floor. Bring the head up, then tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Big inhale and exhale. Bend the knees, set the feet behind the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Good, we're gonna inhale up to standing. Exhale, down to center. Good, standing with our feet hip distance apart. I'm just gonna face you. Feet hip distance apart. We start to shift the weight onto the left leg. So before you do, think of your mountain pose, nice and strong, push the feet in opposite directions into the floor so that the legs start to activate. Shift to the left leg. Bringing the right leg up, flex the toes, so the big toe is going towards the shin. We're gonna open up through the hip here. Good, we can bring the hands into center, and we're gonna do a little um, sweep here. So start to bring it back in, and open. Back in, engage through the core, and open. Back in, hold it here. Lift it up as high as you can. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. We're going to kick back into our warrior three. Hands are in prayer. Hands are in prayer here. So lifting up through the left hip. So don't let the body sink down. Right toes pointing towards the ground. Coming into our half moon. Left hand goes down. Right hand goes up. Stay looking at the floor. If it's easier for you, if you want, you can start to bring the gaze up so it's parallel with eye level, falling over like that, like I did, with your eye level, sorry, with um, sort of uh, 90 degrees. And if you want to go even further, you can take the hand, the, the vision up to the sky. Sorry, I can't speak today. Then slowly bring it back down, drop that feet down to the ground, forward fold. And we're going to inhale up to the sky, exhale down to centre. We're going to do the same thing other side, so find your mountain pose, shift the weight to the right leg, left leg comes up, 
hands into prayer. Working into the hip flexor here, into the groin, opening up through that left leg, that opening out that left leg to the side, sorry. Keep lifting it up, we're gonna bring it back in. And again, open to the side. Bring it back in. Open to the side. We're gonna do it one more time. Then finally bring it back into center. Extend it back behind you into your warrior three. Nice, strong standing right leg. Make sure you're kicking into the heel of the left foot. You can stay here for a moment more. Then we're gonna drop the right hand down. Left hand comes up to the sky. Again, stay looking at the ground if it feels more comfortable and you feel more balanced. If not, you can start to bring your head 90 degrees or if you wanna go all the way up, you can go all the way up. Oh, and I'm wobbling everywhere. And then we come back down, drop that foot down, getting ahead of the wall there for me. Drop that foot down, drop the head down. Just take a moment here in your forward fold, shift the weight onto the toes and the heels. You can reach the floor, you can put the hands down. And back to centre, big inhale up to the sky. Exhale down to centre, good. And we're going to work again into that hip and we're going to move our way down to the ground. So what we're doing, as I said, we're mixing a bit of the Pilates and the yoga here. So we're going to work in some hip rotations and through the core. But to do that, we'll take a nice big inhale up to the sky. Exhale down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hop or step back to your high plank. We're going to hold it here for a moment. Squeeze the bum, squeeze the thighs, push into the upper body, then shift the weight onto the tiptoes and roll over the wrists. We're going to hold it for three, two, one. Back to centre, drop your knees down, coming into tabletop position. Shift the weight to the left side, lift up the right leg. Now flex the toes of the right leg. We're going to start to create a bit of an arch from the hip around the elbow. We're going to bring it to the side and then take it back up. So try and push into the hands evenly. If you feel you're sinking to the left or right, try and correct your posture there. We're really using into the core, taking it back up again, back around to that elbow, back up. Good. Looking towards the top of your mat, we're going to pulse it up for five, four, Three, two, one. Hold it there. Slowly bring the knee forward. Bring the chin, the uh, forehead, sorry, to knee. Squeeze it in there. Engage the core. And drop down. Good stuff. Shifting onto the right leg. Left leg comes up. Flex the toe. Same thing. We're going to round, th rotate through the hip there. Take it back up. Rotate round through the hip towards that elbow. Back up. And again. Back up. Do it one more time. Back up. We're going to pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up there. Bend the knee in towards the forehead. Round the upper back. Squeeze the core and drop it down into your tabletop good just dropping back onto the heels here taking the hands behind you squeezing the shoulder blades together as you lift the chest up looking up towards the sky you can take the head back if it's comfortable and bring the head back up sitting onto the knees and getting um, interlace the fingers in front of the face round the back as chin goes to chest and then take the hands up to the sky, flip the palms upwards, trying to lift the body up as high as you can here. We're going to take an inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale up, exhale, hands release down onto the mat, tucking the toes, push back to your downward facing dog. We're going to get the heart rate going a little bit here by doing some bunny hops. So I'm going to show you a couple of variations. 
For, for the bunny hops, you want to make sure that you're always looking at your hands, because if you don't look at the hands, you're more likely to topple. Keep the arms straight and strong. They need to be nice and strong in order to prevent yourself and the elbows from um, buckling and falling under. But stay low. If you feel uncomfortable about bringing the legs up, keep them low. If you want to go a little bit higher, you can. So you're going to do it five times, take a breath, and five times more. So you're going to come to your downward dog. Look at the hands, bend the knees. And you're going to start slow or low. Like this. You can see how I'm landing softly on the mat. If you want to go a little bit higher, you're going to start doing a hand half handstand. And then see my knee clicking, and then take a little child's pose. So remember, whichever one you're doing, arms are nice and strong, look towards the hands. Soft landing, use that landing as a bounce and a rebound to take you back up. And don't forget to have a little breath, like me. Good, so you should probably be having a little child's pose now and a breather. And then we'll come back up nice and slowly. Back onto the hands and knees here. Tuck the toes, push back to downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, ripple to your high plank. Bring the left hand to the inside of the mat, roll onto the outer edges of the right foot, bring the right arm up. Now you can stay here if this is too much, drop down onto your elbow, then any variation you wanna take, whether you lift the leg up, Maybe you bring it to the inside of the leg. Maybe you grab the toe. I want you to hold it here for another five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, holding it here in your high plank if you can. If you need to, take a child's pose, do. If not, bring the right hand into center, left arm up. Now remember, you always want the shoulder over the wrist. It will make it a little bit easier for you. And then any variation you want to take, Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Back to your high plank. See if you can hold it again. One more moment. Rolling over the toes, squeezing through the core. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Push back to your downward facing dog. Taking a big deep inhale. And exhale. Down again. Exhale. Good. Looking at the hands, we're going to drop the elbows into dolphin here. Now make sure you're contracting through the upper body. Look at the hands, walk the finger the fingertips, walk the toes a little bit up so you're making the spine even straighter. And we're going to hold it for five, four, Three, two, one. Drop to the knees. Have the knees nice and wide apart. Head down and breathe. Couple more breaths. Rising back up onto the knees here. Give your shoulders a little rotation if they feel a little bit stiff and tight from the, the uh, dolphin pose there. And then just roll onto the side of your bum, bring the legs out in front. And we're going to go, uh, so the legs are facing, facing forward, are straight out in front of you, giving the legs a little wiggle. I'm going to extend, 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 I can't speak, take the, take the legs wide. So you're into a wide leg straddle here, and then we're just gonna slowly forward fold. So just bring the hands away as far as is comfortable. When I reach them away, I sometimes like to put a block in front of me and use my arms just to wiggle myself down. You can drop your head. Definitely not done this one in a few weeks, so I can feel that my legs are extra tight. 
We're always key for this is try and make sure that the, the knees and the thighs are facing up. Okay, then we'll just drop the head, take another couple of breaths. And bringing it back up. Good, we're going to bring them into butterfly. Give them a little bounce. And we're going to lean onto our side here. So we're going to go onto the left side. So on your left side, you can make a little, um, make a little cushion for your head. So knees are together, feet are in line with your bum, so they shouldn't be down here or too far back. You want them in line with your bum. Right hand comes in front of you. We're going to start to open up and work into the hip and the outside of the bum here on the right leg. So feet stay together and start to lift the knees up and see how far back you can get it. So you're really squeezing into those bum muscles there. We're going to start to bring it down slowly and then back up. Bringing it down and back up. Good. Holding it here for three, two, one. One, I'm going to do knee to toe touch. So knee, right knee to left knee, then right toe to left toe. So trying to make a bit of an arch like we did earlier through the hip. So nice and slow and controlled. He engages the core as well. Can lift up the pelvic floor, knee to knee, toe to toe. We should be starting to really feel it in the hips here. Good, one more time. And down. And bring both feet off the floor. See if you can bring the knee, so hands, bring the knees down. Bring feet together. See if you can open up the knees. Really work into the hips there. So both knees off the ground, both feet off the ground. Holding for three, two, one. Lowering it down. Good, you should start to really feel it in here in the hip. And we're going to roll to the other side. Right hand comes down, left hand into the middle. Remember, feet are in line with your bum. I'm going to start to open the left knee up. So feeling it on the left side this time. Really squeeze the feet together. Lift the legs up, the knee up as high as you can. Squeezing into that glute. And lowering down. And then we're going to open. And lower down. Good, and open, and lower down, and then do our little knee to knee, toe to toe tap, so knee to knee, toe to toe. So try and create that big sort of rainbow arch with the knee here, as you touch the toe. Good, I'll get a couple more of these. The more slow and controlled you do it, the more you're going to feel this. Good, and last time. And then from here, we're gonna lift the knees and the toes off. See if you can hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Relaxing that down. Good, just roll onto the belly. Push the, the, the body up by squeezing the shoulder blades backwards, but try and relax the bum here. Squeeze the shoulder blades back, relax the legs. And then push back to a, a tabletop position here and just start to wiggle the hips side to side. So dropping down from one side of the mat to the other. And then bring the left leg over the right leg and same thing. You probably find that you can bring it to the right more. And then we'll swap. Left, right leg over the left leg, down to the left. And back to centre here to give it one more, give your bum a little wiggle one more time. And then cross the ankles. Coming onto your bum. You're going to lie down flat onto the back. Lifting the legs up. I want you to take the right leg and cross it over the left leg. Then from here, see if you can grab your feet. Now if you feel that your feet come down to your bum like this, I want you to lift them up high. So you should start to feel a bit of a stretch in the hips there where we've just worked into. And you can do a little rock side to side. You should feel, feel that in the hip and the outside of 
the bum. And then we'll swap sides. Same thing, see if you can grab the feet. If you're having trouble grabbing the feet, you can grab the shins, but lift those legs up. So what you're trying to do is look like you're riding a bicycle upside down. Again, a little hip side to side. Good, then bring the legs in for a hug. And then open them to the side, squeeze those hips even more, then drop the feet down. Fingertips are touching the ankles. Push the feet into the floor. Start to lift the hips up. Squeeze them up as high as you can. If you want to go onto the tiptoes, you can here. If you want to go into the shoulder blades as well, interlace the hands behind the back and lift up. This moves in yoga and Pilates. Squeezing up as high as you can, gently dropping the feet down, giving yourself another little hug here, side to side. And then we're just going to finish with a nice back, back twist, so drop the knees down to the left. And look into the right. And then we'll gradually just move the legs through centre, down to the right, looking to the left. And then back into centre. Extend the arms out above the head, extend the legs out. Give yourself a nice stretch, make yourself as long and tall as you possibly can, squeeze every muscle in the body and then relax. And one more time, a big squeeze. And relax, bringing the arms down by the side of you, the palms facing up to the sky. Lift the head up, then extend it a little bit, drop it back down onto the mat and close the eyes and start with some nice slow deep inhales and exhales And just let the body surrender to the mat. And then taking a deep inhale Open the mouth, sighing it out, and again, and sighing it out, hugging the knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug and a little rock side to side, and then we're going to rock our way up to seated, so holding on to the shins, just starting to rock the body up and down. Give it a couple of goes until you come to a nice seated position here and cross-legged, sitting the spine up tall, hands together in front of the heart. And just taking a moment here to check in with the body and the mind, just acknowledging how you are feeling. And we'll take a final big breath here. Exhaling it out, and namaste, thank you, cheers guys.